Again, thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today, opening with Macbeth in 2014 and becoming a nonprofit in 2018. The Boise Bar players are committed to making Shakespeare and other classics affordable and accessible to the Treasure Valley. So we have the Boise Bar players here with us in studio to share more. So great to have you. Uh, introduce yourselves, please. Awesome. Hi, I'm Tiffany Eller, and I'm the managing director of the Boise Bar players. Wonderful. And I'm Chris Canfield, and I'm the artistic director of the Boise Bar players. Great to have you and both here. Macbeth actor. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. And what role do you play? Macbeth. You play Macbeth? Yes, I've <gasps> been. Fantastic. Can I say that in the studio? I don't know. You know, I know. Cursed, That's so. why I was so shocked that you said that you opened in 2014 with it. Okay, so we got to loop everybody in here. Right. So if you're not a thespian, uh, saying Macbeth is supposed to be bad luck in the theater, right? Like, yeah. it's it's the show in which you do not name. So we say the yes. Scottish play is typically the Scottish how it's referred play. To. That's yeah. right. Yes. All right. So hopefully no lights come falling on anyone's yeah. head or anything. All right. So tell us about uh, the Boise Bar players. Well, we uh, it originally started. The Boise Bar players is a small mobile. Shakespeare and other classics theater company that started in 2014 as a way for myself and some other Boise State <laughs> theater grads to <laughs> have a project to do. Uh, but then it got so much attention in the kind of the stripped down minimalist version of that we were that we did got enough attention that it became we got asked you to do another one and I said Wonderful. well no, that would be fun. So then it became a thing and so becoming a nonprofit in 2018 and now coming around to the 10 year anniversary doing Macbeth for the second time. Wonderful. And yeah. That is super awesome. And our mission is to make Shakespeare uh, affordable and relatable to everyone in the Treasure Valley because a lot of people aren't able to attend the theater around here because the ticket prices are so high. So mm -hmm. our goal is to keep our ticket prices at $20 or, or less uh -huh. to hopefully make that more accessible to more people here. I love that because also you're giving an opportunity for other, you know, for all individuals to fall in love with the theater and be exposed exactly. to something. Because I think also too when it comes to Shakespeare, uh, there is a um, a little bit of a stereotype, right? You're, you're <laughs> laughing because you're like, yes, yes, I know. And they're oh, I don't understand it. Or it's like, no, no, actually you, you will. Right. And it is so entertaining and right. beautiful. I mean, right. there's just so many, I mean, right. I love, I love Shakespeare myself. Oh, so Good. Uh, I'm already drinking that. Kool -Aid. <laughs> yes. Um, right. But, um, I think it's a brilliant idea to make this something that everyone will have an opportunity to see and be a part of. Yeah. So let's talk about your upcoming shows that you guys have. Yeah. So right now we're smack dab in the middle of the run of uh, Macbeth. We've got four more performances starting tomorrow through the end of the weekend. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of Macbeth at Searles Place in Garden City. Okay. Uh, Friday's already sold out. Wonderful. So Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, or Thursday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, excuse me. Uh, and then it, the next, or this upcoming summer, we have uh, Cymbeline, which hasn't been done in Boise since the 90s, I think. Mm, nice. uh, a lesser known Shakespeare, which we're taking a risk, but it's, uh, uh, it's gonna be a wacky, fun, over the top, ridiculous show. And I <laughs> encourage everybody to come out and see us. And that one will tour across the Treasure Valley area. Our summer production, we always put in different places. So the Bishop's House next to the Old Pen, <gasps> Ooh, uh, Hilltop lovely. Station up on Highway 21. Nice. Uh, Carl Miller Park and Mountain Home, which we've, had a deal with for the past five years. So this one will travel all across the and, area. And, and while you guys are a traveling Shakespearean production, is your approach to set and costume, is it is it a little more tailored down? Yes, okay. actually, it's a good way to put it, uh, tailored down. Uh, we Minimalist is kind of the idea, yeah. the, the, the word I cling to, and uh, most of our productions, stylistically anyway, we just, I tell actors, we tell actors, bring what's in your closet. Yeah. Because we have to be able to relate to people in today's day and age. Yeah. So a king may be wearing a blazer as opposed to, you know, sash of office. Oh, and, nice. Okay, um, yeah. I like that. Okay, so you're also kind of giving a little modern twist, if you right. will, yeah. to help bridge that relatability. Right, right. exactly. And, and so smart. with stripping down of the costumes, it makes the words really stand out. And so yeah. what I like to say is our actors understand the words so well that you don't have to understand every word to understand and enjoy the play. Right. There you go. So <laughs> well said. Perfect. So a, a little bit of Grotowski, if you will, approach, a little, little approach to the, the, the poor theater on that, right, where you're, you're making it more about the performance itself opposed to the aesthetic. The bells and whistles. Right. The bells yeah. and whistles. I yes. love it. Where do people go to learn more? Uh, they can go to boisebardplayers.org and you'll find tickets to Macbeth and info about our entire season there. Wonderful. And uh, do you guys do casting calls too, by the way? We do. Yes. Our auditions are usually in the winter. Okay. So uh, around January or look for notices for auditions somewhere in the December, November, December area. Wonderful. And we strictly hire local. So love. All right, everyone. We'll be right back. Thank you.